Hi guys, Annette here. I was not going to make a video, but I decided to throw the camera on real quick and show you what I'm making for dinner tonight real quick. For myself, um, this recipe will serve like two people, so if you want it to be more, then definitely like double it for a family of four or triple it if you need to. Um, this is just one large um, russet potato, organic russet potato that I got from my gleaning program. Washed really well, diced up. I like to leave the skin on. Um, it's almost cooked through. I like to start it first because I like the potato get to get some really good color on it. This probably could have been cooking for about 10 minutes um, in about a tablespoon of peanut oil. Um, you can use whatever oil is your favorite oil to kind of like fry in. Um, I like the peanut oil because it doesn't get burnt at all. Um, it's what people use for deep frying a lot. So, um, And I have no allergies in my house. So that's what I use, but feel free to use whatever you choose to use. Um, I have a whole bunch of mushrooms here. There's a mix of white mushrooms and cremini mushrooms. Um, those are also from my gleaning program. It just amazes me that, you know, if the store didn't give these to, to us, they were going to throw them away. And I just am amazed. They're wonderful, beautiful looking mushrooms. Um, also, half of a green pepper. I would use the whole thing if I were doubling this recipe. And then... Um, there is one medium white onion there. You can use whatever onion you like. I just had that one from my gleaning program, so that's what I used. Um, and I like onion. If you were making this recipe, you could probably have the mushrooms and half the uh, onions for this amount that I'm making, but I like mushrooms and onions a lot, so I pretty much left the full amount in if I was going to make it for like four people. Um, and then I have two of the mozzarella artichoke garlic gourmet sausages that I showed you from my um, grocery outlet haul. There were four in the package. There's only two of them here. The other two are in the fridge um, for that tortellini. I haven't made that yet. So um, I'm going to use two for this meal and then two eventually for that tortellini meal. Um, if you were a family of four, you'd probably want one sausage per person. So go ahead and use the whole package. But um, this meal is costing me a dollar plus my gleaner's food, which um, I pay $35 a month um, and work three and a half hours and volunteer time, and it gets shot three times a week. So the onions, the green peppers, the mushrooms, and the potato all came from my gleaning program. The potatoes were organic, and so was the green pepper over there. Um, these are looking really good. They're about done through, which is how I like them. And then I start adding in all of the other stuff. So um, I'll probably go ahead and add the mushrooms next and let them start to cook down. Kind of picked probably too small of a pan for all of this, but um, I kind of forgot about the mushrooms until I was going through the fridge and realized that I had all of these in there and needed to use them. So um, I will bring you back after these have cooked down a little bit. Um, all that's in there right now is a little bit of seasoned salt, and I'll probably put a little bit of garlic um, powder and onion powder and salt and pepper, and that'll probably be about it as far as seasonings go. So I will bring you guys back when I go ahead and add in some more of the vegetables. All right, well, I decided I was going to need to switch to a bigger pan, so I got my... Um, ceramic non-stick stir-fry pan out. I started to get some color on these um, sausages. They're starting to stick a little bit, so I'm going to add the uh, onions and bell peppers in there. It'll help them steam up a little bit, get the color off the bottom. Um, and then once those have sauteed up a little bit, I'm going to add in the mushrooms and the potatoes, which are pretty much done there. So this can all be done in one Pan. I just did not start with a big enough pan. Um, normally I kind of make a well in the middle of the pan that's already hot, like the cast iron one, and brown the sausages in the middle, and then put the veggies in, and then just uh, saute it all together until it is cooked through. But um, today I had more food than I guess than I thought I was going to have, so um, I had to switch over to this bigger one. But if I would have started with this one in the first place, it would have all fit in here. Um, but I do like to use cast iron too, so if you want to do it in cast iron, I would say do it at least in a 12-inch cast iron. Because um, this is a 10-inch, but it's very shallow. So 
Um, if you had less mushrooms and less veggies, then you could probably get away with a 10 inch cast iron as long as it had high enough sides. Um, but this is a 10 inch stir fry pan. It has higher sides and it will fit everything here eventually. So I'm going to cut these down a little bit more. And once they're to the stage that I like them, I will bring you guys back um, and show you that I'm going to put that in there. And then I'll show you the final product. It's not the prettiest dish in the world, but it tastes really, really good. And it's really quick to get together, to get together for dinner. It probably takes less than a half an hour. Okay, so I've added the mushrooms and potatoes into the onions, bell pepper, and sausage mixture. I also put about a, uh, I'd say a heaping teaspoon of prepared garlic. I added salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic and herb seasoning. I'm going to mix these up together and saute them for a few more minutes to make sure everything is nice and cooked through um, and the potatoes are soft. And uh, when it's ready to serve, I will bring you guys back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so there is my bowl all plated up. That's my dinner for tonight. If you wanted to, you could serve this with a side salad or some fresh bread or both if you needed to stretch it a little bit. Um, it does have a good amount of veggies in it, so I'm okay with just eating it as the main meal with nothing else. And like I said, I just want to make something quick tonight. Um, I make skillet meals like this often. Uh, I vary the vegetables and stuff that I put in, but um, this is mine for tonight with the mushrooms, the peppers, and the onions, potatoes, and um, artichoke, garlic, mozzarella sausage. And as you can see, there is definitely enough there for another serving for another person, so this would definitely um, feed two people. If you wanted to have it feed four or six, just double or triple the recipe. I hope you guys like this video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please comment down below. Um, I love to hear from you guys, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.